given trust find out the members which are zero load carrying members here in the given trust if any one member carrying some load obviously the trust will collapse so that no one carry a small even no one carry the apply load so that here all are zero load zero care zero load carrying members so that a b b c and c d are zero load carrying members and in the option the right option is d a torque t is applied at d at the end of the shaft connected through gates b and a to another shaft fixed at c the angle of twist at d is d in this case when compared to where b is fixed and not engaged with gear a will be so here gear a and gear b are fixed and here the diam p circle diameter of the gear a is 100 mm and p circle diameter of gear b is 200 mm so that here the torque applied on the shaft bd is two times the torque applied on the ca so that here angle of twist the total angle of twist in this case is that is theta cd is equal to theta ca plus theta bd now theta ca is half of the tl by gj and here theta bd is just tl by gj so that here the total angle of twist is 3 by 2 times tl by gj and if the case if the case the shaft b is fixed then the the angle of twist in bd is just tl by gj so that here in case of theta s cd e 3 by 2 times the theta bd so that, so that in the option the right option is c c is the right answer determine the maximum stress developed in the bar which is hinged vertically with a load of 900 newton as shown in the figure given weight density of the material is 77 kg per meter cube and here uh, here this is the given bar of uh, diameter 6 mm and it is carrying a load of 900 newton uh, and bar is of length 30 meter so here the self weight density of the material is 77 kg per meter cube so the stress developed in the bar is equal to the total weight per cross sectional area of the bar here the total weight or the total load sorry here the total load on the bar here the total load is nothing but here already 900 newton is acting on the bar plus the self weight of, you will have to consider self weight also that is gamma al by ga so here uh, gamma is the weight density of the bar so here 900 by by pi by 4 d square that is 6 square plus gamma is 77 kg per meter cube and l is 30 meters and a get cancel here and uh, if we by 1000 gives you know, in newton per mm square so it gives a value of nearly 34 mega pascal and in the option the right answer is c c is the right answer determine the compressive stress in the shore which is supported by the wall and the floor as shown in the figure here uh, the shore is supported by a wall as shown in the figure here and it makes an um, 30 degrees with the horizontal line or with the x axis and here now draw the free body diagram of this so here free body diagram gives let us say this is the wall and here so it is subjected to a horizontal component of fh and a vertical component of force fv let us say and the resultant force is f and here it is making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal line or this resultant makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal and here this fh is at a height of 1.5 meters and here uh, vertical force at a distance of 12 meters so i think this point is missing here it is it is at a 12 meter distance okay now find out the here first we will have to consider the moments about the point a that is here and here a, a force f is acting here that is equal to 5 45 kilonewton at a distance of at a perpendicular distance of 
5 meters. Now take the moments about a so which is equal to fh into 1.5 plus fv into 12 minus 45 into 5 is equal to 0 and here I have fh is nothing but f cos 30 degrees into 1.5 plus f sin 30 degrees into 12 is equal to 45 into 5 so from this equation we can get here the resultant force that is uh, acting uh, axially to the shore and is equal to 30.83 kN and the compressive stress induced in the shore is equal to sigma c is equal to f by a and it is 30 by 0.83 into 10 cube by 36 so which is equal to 856 newton per meter square so in the option the right option is a a is the right answer a cylindrical shell is made of mild steel mild steel plate and 120 cm 20 centimeter in diameter is to be subjected to an internal pressure of 1 megapascal if the material yields at 200 megapascal calculate the thickness of the plate on the on the basis of maximum strain energy theory here maximum strain energy theory according to maximum strain energy theory the equation is given by sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma y square in two dimensional stress condition so here sigma 1 and sigma 2 can be calculated by using by using thin cylindrical assumption that is sigma 1 is hoop stress that is given by pd by 2t and here sigma 2 is longitudinal stress that is given by pd by 4t here sigma 1 is equal here p is equal to 1 mega pascal and d is equal to 120 centimeters that is 1200 mm by 2 into t so which is equal to 600 t and uh, six, sigma 2 is equal to 300 now substitute all these values in in the magnus strain energy equation here sigma y is given by 200 mega pascal now substitute all the values here that is sorry here it is sigma 100 by t and here it is 300 by t now substitute all the values here that is sigma 600 by t whole square plus 300 by t whole square minus 600 into 300 by t square which is equal to 200 square so from this equation we can get t that is equal to 2.6 mm so in the option the right answer is b b is the right answer